Hello everybody, my name is Toph and this is going to be a quick guide to the book of Margahan, which unlocks the Agris' Fever little new feature in Black Desert Online, which gives you extra trash every day for grinding. Pardon the clutter in my inventory and you won't need these items yet, but I should say that you're going to need 30 bear meat, 100 wheat, and 10 fruit of enchantment. I just already had a bunch on me. For those items, you can find bears to butcher with a butchering knife around this area south of Velia. Wheat can be obtained very easily off of the marketplace, but if you'd rather pick it, you can pick it around Northern Wheat Plantation near Calpheon. And Fruit of Enchantment can be obtained by harvesting byproducts from several farming ingredients, or it can be obtained around Bear or any other wild grass locations by using a hoe at a rare chance. Although I expect the supply of Fruit of Enchantment to go back up on the marketplace quickly anyway, so you probably can just buy it soon. I don't know how this slipped my mind when I was recording earlier, but you also need to be level 60 to get this quest in the first place. To start things off, you're going to want to go into the Ancient Stone Chamber and talk to Eden. To do that, you're going to have to go to where I am here on the minimap, and this is the entrance to the cave here. But the easier way to path there is to get the quest you're going to need for this anyways. Talk to your Black Spirit, hit Quest, scroll down in Main until you find Adventure Log, Agris the Ancient Secret. Moving right along, once you're down here, you're going to want to talk to Eden. He's going to have two quick quests, and all you really have to do is spam R through the dialogue, or read it if you prefer, and he's going to unlock the adventure log for you. So the first part of our adventure log says to go to the Altar of Agris. So here I am, just north of Western Guard Camp. I've pathed to the Node Manager, but you're actually going to have to go a little bit northwest of here, as you'll see here. So from the Node Manager, we're just going to run a little bit northeast, and you're going to look for this big altar here, and there's going to be a blue flame at the center of it. You're going to want to come interact with this. And that's going to take this first part, and you're going to have to click this and actually complete it to unlock the next part as far as I'm aware. The second part tells you to offer the materials I listed earlier as a requirement to the altar, so just interact with the altar again and feed it all of these items. And that's going to take the second part. The third part tells you to go to a hidden spot inside of Coastal Cave, so for that we're going to have to go to the cave just northeast of here. So to make things easy, just to my east is Velia, and in front of me here on my screen is like the Velia fishing hotspot that a lot of people know of. So from here, just follow my character, it's not very far. So you're going to want to turn around, and you're going to go south through this little mini cave here. And then go into the next cave to the south. And you're going to go west here and go a little bit deeper. And then you're going to want to go up this little up area in the north here and grab this flame. And now that we've talked to this flame, we can claim our third piece of the reward. And the next one's going to want us to go onto a roof on Kron Castle. So here I am north of Vili at the entrance to Kron Castle. You're going to want to follow this route I take here. First, you're going to want to enter the castle and take a right turn. You're going to follow this method all the way and climb up the staircase to the right here. Turn left and follow through this little entryway here. Hug the right and follow this outer wall for a little bit. You wanna go up this staircase and turn inside to the left here. I'm gonna demount here to make this easier. And then you're gonna to want to go onto this little broken rooftop and follow the dilapidated area here. And now you wanna to look to your right and sprint jump over to this little broken rooftop piece here. Look to your left and climb up and you should see the orb on top of the roof in the center here. That'll do it for this step, turn it in, and then you're going to be sent to Alistan and Velia to combine all the pieces of the tablet for you. So here we are back in Velia, southeast of the storage keeper is an NPC named Alistan. We're going to talk with him, hit chat, and hand over the fragment of the Agra Stone tablet. And he's going to give us a completed tablet. From here we talk to the Black Spirit and hit chat, and say let's go back to Eden. And actually, after we talk to our Black Spirit, we go to Main, and we look for the quest Adventure Log, Agris, and the Prophecy of the Past. And then we just talk to our Black Spirit again, or hit the back key, and he's going to give us a copy, and the quest is complete. Alright guys, so after you talk to the Black Spirit there, that's all of Book 1, and Book 2 really doesn't actually require a video guide, I'm just going to talk about it briefly here. So Book 5 is a bunch of kill quests, basically. This is going to have you kill Saucens, followed by Crescents, followed by Shere Khan, Monshams, and finally, Star's End. I just realized I didn't actually give you guys the numbers here, it's going to be 2500 Saucens, Crescents, and then Shere Khan, followed by 3,000 Monchoms and 3,000 Stars End Mobs. You have to do these in order, so you're going to have to start by going to the Saucens Grinding Area up here, to the northeast of Heidel, or to the northwest of Medaya. Then you're going to have to go in through the desert, which, good thing, Oasis Compasses are free right now, and you're going to have to go and grind Crescents. And you can grind Crescents down here, you're going to have to follow a path a little bit south of Sand Grain Bazaar. And I'm just mentioning these because there's plenty of guides on grinding these themselves, and I feel it would be relatively redundant for me to show all of these paths and areas. After that, you're going to have to go west of Duvencroon and kill 3,000 of the Shere Khan Nicopolis monsters during the day. I probably pronounced that wrong. 
Then you're going to have to head over to Monchoms in Kama Silvia, a bit northeast of Grana, and kill 3,000 of them. And then you're going to have to head north of Grana and west of Calfion and grind out 3,000 mobs at Star's End. Not only do I feel that it would be very redundant for me to show all of these locations, as well as its requirements, how to get there, and myself grinding them, but there's lots of guides out there already for grinding all these particular areas. However, if you would like, I can do a quick video as to how to get to all five of these locations. But do know that Monchoms do require a fair bit of gear to grind. Not too, too bad. You should be able to do it with the Oasis gear or the Free Tribe Boss gear event. It'll be a little bit difficult and you'll need some potions, but you should be able to grind them with that. However, Star's End is actually relatively hard to grind, and you are going to need a lot of gear to grind it. Probably at least, I'd say, 290 to 300 DP to be safe. Maybe a little bit more even if you're evasion. It depends on your class. And you could probably manage it with like two, 245 Kudum or something like that, but you're probably going to want to have at least 261 AP with Nuber to grind there, if not higher. And as a quick note, these numbers are a complete lowball. This isn't what I'm saying you'll need to efficiently grind the area, but this is what I'm saying you should have to have a chance at getting these 3000 kills within any reasonable amount of time so that you have the benefit of the Agris Fever increased. So after completing this first chapter of what I've shown in this video of Margahan, you're going to have 3,000 of these points, and this is going to increase the trash loot you get by 100%, and you're going to lose oh so many points based on what mob you're killing, with a wiki page showing the amount of points you lose for different mobs in the description. You regenerate 3,000 points every day at 6am server time, and it will cap out at 10,000 points. After you've completed the second journal with all the kill quests in the five different areas, which you can complete in parties by the way, you can party up and complete these in a group. And by the way, it will show you at the left side of your screen as you kill these. When you're killing the correct mob, it will tick like 0 out of 2500 for example for Saucens. The item drop rate increase from all these mobs when your points are spent will be increased to 150% instead of 100%, and you're going to get 4,000 points restored a day with a maximum of 20,000 instead of 10,000. Note that each part of the second chapter gives a part of that increase, it isn't just complete the entire book and get it all at once. For example, I believe Saucens increases your maximum points from 10,000 to 15,000, Crescents will increase the item drop trash percent from 100 to 150, etc, etc. However, being it is the 15th of April right now on the NA server, and this was just released, same with the EU server, I would highly recommend waiting a little bit before you complete all of these. All of these areas are going to be really crowded right now, and it's going to be really efficient to grind these. Maybe just get a couple of them done. You could probably just do Saucens and Crescents to get the percent increase from 100 to 150. And, I mean, if you want to do more, you're absolutely welcome to, but it's going to be a lot of competition at these spots for the next couple of weeks. In a couple days, when I hit 9,000 points, I'll probably go over and do Saucens and Crescents to get the 150% before I start actually grinding, and I'll take it from there. I hope you guys found this video helpful. I'm sorry if this was a little bit scrambled, as I was kind of learning this as I went through with it, but I hope this video helped you guys out and tried to keep it as short as possible. If you liked this video, do please leave it a like. Comment below if you have any questions about any of this, which I'm sure several of you may have, or if you have any sort of feedback for me in general. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content from me in the future. It helps me out a ton. It's completely free, and I really appreciate it so much. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.